What's going on, guys? Game Guy here, bringing you a new Let's Play. Uh, this is Resident Evil. This is the GameCube uh, a, uh, HD remake. Stop. This is the GameCube HD remake. Um, I did have a Let's Play on this for both Jill and Chris at one point in time, but my dad ended up getting sick, and I wasn't able to finish it. I lost... I. I think I didn't lose the save, but I'm wanting to start over anyways. I'm going to load up here just to see. No, I didn't lose my saves. Oh, okay. But you know what? That's fine. Not a big deal. We're going to start over anyway. So, here we go. Resident Evil. All right. So, I always want to be quiet for that because it's cool. All right. So, since it's the HD remake, it's going to ask wider original display, uh, alternate or original subtitles. I'm going to leave those on. So, um, actually, I want to go back. I want to make sure everything's okay. Uh, video settings, 1080p, 60 frames, crank out the anti-aliasing, we'll go back, um, display, actually if you want to do 3x9 or wide, we're obviously going to do wide, because 1080p, alright, let's hit it again. Resident Evil. Man, that always got me when I was a kid, that noise. I was like, nope, I'm good. So here we go. I'm going to pick uh, all that. So this, fun fact, this actually just tells you kind of what the difficulty is. Um, I like climbing a mountain. I like going on a hike. I like taking a walk. Obviously, some are hard. Obviously, taking a walk would be easy. Like going on a hike is um, normal. Climbing a mountain takes a lot of hard work and that's hard I don't want to beat my brains out trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this game you know and you know not fuss and cuss about it so we're gonna do normal all right now so here we're gonna pick the character selection screen I've only got two costumes right now because I own um, Resident Evil 5 on Steam as well so if you own Resident Evil 5 you unlock obviously these are their original costumes but you also unlock their costumes in Resident Evil 5. And as you can see, there's normal Resident Evil Chris. And then there's steroid punching rocks and punching gigantic boulders and volcanoes. Chris Redfield. So, I'm going to go I'm gonna go with G the Resident Evil 5 Jill Valentine. This doesn't do anything. It's just a cosmetic thing. So, it looks a lot cool. So, now cutscene. I'm going to shut up. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Seriously, mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre yeah, murder cases have recently visit. occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
Chris, this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. All right, we finally get to play. So, tank controls. Uh, well, normal alternate controls allows me to use the deep the uh, uh, analog stick um, on a Xbox One controller, the left analog stick. That's why I'm able to rotate her very quickly like this. Uh, if you were using original, it would be like this, literally. I am pressing one button. If I wanted to move forward, I'd press the up button. If I wanted to move backwards, I'd press the down button. Um, in the Resident Evil un uh, community, this is also known as tank controls. And I hit the map button. Ooh, lightning. Scurry. Alright, first thing I'm actually going to do is open up our inventory and de-equip the handgun. We don't need it right now. There is a... Uh, ink ribbon right there directly in front of Jill on the on the dining room table that allows you to save your game um, I don't really collect those because I don't save my game often but we're gonna run down here I think you'd better take a look at this what is it what Jill see if you can find any other clues I'll be examining this Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Okay, so. So, yeah, I'm going to start using alternate controls now. So, rather, uh, throughout the, this game here, I'm actually going to be comparing it to the original. There's a lot of similarities, and there's also a lot of differences. We're going to run up to this door here and press A. That allows us to open doors. We get this wonderful entrance screen. All right, as you can see, we can run up this way. There's nothing. An elevator. We can go down a set of stairs there if we want. But we don't need to go that way. We can't go that way because it's locked. Emblem of an armor, uh, armor. So we can't go that way. It's locked from the other side, so we can't go that way. That goes back to the dining room. We go over here and right about now. <laughs> and there he is. We're just going to kind of slowly walk towards it so we don't change the camera angle. There is the zombie number one. We could kill him if we wanted. But we're not gonna. We're gonna walk back out to the dining room. And we get a freebie. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let 
me take care of it. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Alright, so now we gotta run back towards the main hall where we was at. Now, fun fact, you can also, I'm gonna pause real quick. You can, you can actually start when you walk into the dining room and see that he has, um, when, uh, Barry is investigating the blood, you can actually run back to that main hall and another dialogue will take place saying that Jill has cold feet and then, the, and if you keep doing that, um, the zombie will actually come into that room and, and come after you guys. But, fun fact, I, I don't do that, but it, it happens. Okay. Heard a weird noise and a door closed. Just for giggles, we're gonna go walk back this way. And Mr. Zombo is Gano. And no blood without a trace other than the blood that he was looking at. No blood without a trace, nothing. Okay, we're gonna head back this way. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Alright, so, let's not leave this hall. So, walk around, kind of get a feel for the controls, stuff like that. Not too bad, we can actually walk back here. There's a set of doors that lead to somewhere. We do, we will be going through those doors at one point in time. When, I will not say for the sake of, uh, Barry. story. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lot big. You'd make better use of it. And we get a lockpick. Awesome. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. And at that point, we are on our own. We are... Barry's gone for at least a good couple of minutes. Um, so now we are free to roam the map, uh, free to roam the mansion how we choose. Um, and at that point, um, like I said, we're going to go run into stuff and kill stuff. So, fun fact, if, if you wanted to, you don't have to run behind this staircase in order to trigger that cutscene. You could actually come up here. Oh, hit the wrong button. And you can actually... Um, run up and down these set of stairs, run up high enough to um, cue this camera angle right here, and then you can run back down. And once when you get this camera angle, that other that cutscene, even though obviously the cutscene's at a different angle, still says the same thing, so you didn't much there. Um, another thing I'm going to be doing is called scare skating, or yeah, stair skating. It's a move that uh, Carcinogen um, found. Um, to kind of run up the stairs because if you just hold down the X button look how slow it takes uh, Carcinogen does this in his speed runs I do it just because you move up and down the stairs faster and that's the slowest literally in my opinion the slowest part of the game but all you gotta do is just mash it and see how much faster run back of it same way I mean she looks kind of goofy but it works I mean I'm not gonna do it as fast as him because he's, he's, he's doing it for like world record attempts and all sorts of craziness. But we're going to go back into the dining room and make our way back to that room where our first zombie was. He's in there. He, the zombie is still in there, but he's not in where that body was. Um, where we first encountered him around that corner. He's actually in that main hallway. I'll show you guys, actually, since we're there. Uh, we're going to walk up just a smidge to change the camera angle. See, right there he is. And we won't bother him for a very, very good long time. 
Hey, he looks just kind of ominous. Like, la la la. Thinking about what he had for lunch. Obviously, everything. Scared the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but he'll grunt and gravel and go on. Um, this kind of just lets you know something's in that room. Um, but I mean, he, as long as you ain't like close enough to where he can quote unquote see you or detect you, he's not gonna bother you. But here is some handgun ammo. They call it a handgun magazine, but it's a handgun ammo. I'm gonna look at this guy. There is a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in the mansion? All right, and we got some weed over here. Signature Resident Evil medical stuff. Weed, lots of it. You got red weed, you got blue weed, you got green weed. Resident Evil 4, you got yellow weed. All sorts of cool stuff. No, I'm just kidding. They call them green herbs in this game, and, and like, I, like I said, primary use is for um, healing. So, all right. As you can see, there's a pair of feet right there. And we get some real creepy music for, for giggles, but... You can see a pair of feet there on the floor. We won't have to worry about that guy right now. We're going to kind of slowly walk here and look. There's a Zombo. Actually, look in the mirror behind Jill. You can see kind of a weird figure. That Mr. Zombo. You can't go that way. Oh, we got crap. Get, let go. Get off me. Push him up against the wall. Going to rub this way. We're going to grab this. Which is a golden arrow. Examining an item. I'll explain that. We'll grab this handgun ammo right here. Now, if they grab you, what you have to do is mash and move the button left and right. That will allow you to escape him. Alright, door's locked. Alright, we're going to unlock it here. There's another zombie on the other side. We're going to grab this right here, which is a dagger. A dagger is a self-defense item, which is, they call it an emergency evade item. But um, back there, when I got grabbed by that zombie, um, I could have um, used that item if I had it. And it would have stabbed it. Jill would have stabbed him in the head with the knife. And I would have been able to get away without taking damage. But we don't have that luxury. We didn't have that luxury. So now we're back. We're just on the second story of the main room. What we're going to do is come down these set of stairs right here. And we're going to uh, open this little door right here. This is a new area to the Resident Evil game. Um, normally we didn't go outside for a good portion of the game. So we're going to come out here. Over here is some shotgun shells. We don't have a shotgun yet, obviously. I, I wanted to pick... Actually, no, I'm going to not pick those up. I'm going to leave those there for now. But we're going to come over here. And look, uh, as you can see, a tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. There's an indentation where the shape of the arrow hit. All right, so this is where the gold golden arrow comes in. We're going to examine it. And as you can see, with the I'm using the left analog stick. We're able to twirl it about and do whatever we want. What I want to do is I'm going to kind of angle it to where we can kind of get the arrowhead to the front. Press A. Arrowhead looks like it can be removed, so we remove it. We're going to back out of the examine. And then we're going to use. Boom. Once when that opens up, we're able to. I'm going to stair skate because this takes forever to climb up. All right, as you can see, we got four weird faces up here. Stone with a hole where the eye should be. Uh, looks like where the nose and mouth should be. Oh, all no eye, nose, and mouth. I'm sorry. Where the nose and the mouth. All right, this is a major puzzle. So we're gonna head and, as you can see, this book perfectly fitted in the ind indentation. Gonna grab it. Book of Curses is what it's called. We're going to go ahead and look at that book real quick. Examine. Alright. If you look, if you flip it to the back, you'll see there is a key. And the book opens. Four masks. A 
Mask, masks, I'm gonna say masks, because I'm not gonna read them all like this. Mask sees no evil, smells no evil, speaks no evil. I kinda read that in a weird way. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. And a mask that cannot do all three. When fool falls the feet into place, evil will awaken. Okay. Evil is in that coffin thing up there above us. And we will be uh, resurrecting that evil. Trust me. And I have to go back to tech controls to use this. So we're going to mash our way up. Oh, yeah. By the way, I like this ver this costume of hers because I mean, look, she is kitted out. She is kitted out. She don't look like a cop that's got weird shoulder pauldrons from World of Warcraft. And this one, she got look like look like flashbangs on her belt line and everything. And Tux is in the way. Move, Tux. Look, she got she got ammo things, pistols on her belt side. She got stuff on her back there. I don't know. It looks like a weird fanny pack. Got ammo pouches along the belt. I guess that's a place on her right side for knives or something. I mean, she is ready to fight an army. Okay. Enough uh, looking at the costume, so we're going to head and examine that. Turn around, engraving of a sword. So we got the sword key, which uh, will help us a lot, actually. We're gonna use the sword key there. I think we can't come down here and use this one. Uh, armor. So yeah, we don't have the armor key yet. Um, I'm not ready to go into that room just yet. I actually want to come over here and make sure that all of the other doors are okay. Got to be mindful. There is a zombie up here. They don't disappear. Oh, he's closer than I thought. He's right there. Told you. I wanted to push that down onto the lower level. But we gotta lure him. I wanna lure him right where I'm at right now with Jill. Tux is actually watching me play Resident Evil right now. This is hilarious. He is freaking out over the zombie. Alright, we're gonna keep running. We're gonna We're gonna run around the long way because it actually glitches him out. We just gotta be mindful we go when we head back to those doors. As you can see, he's probably either going to turn back around and go back to that main that set of double doors, or he's just going to keep following that original path that we took. All right, we're going to push to there. Yep, I knew it. We could fight him and kill him if we wanted, but I am not going to do that because that would be stupid. And there's reasons later on you'll see why. Like I said, we're just going to keep moving this way. And we're going to try to head to this door. Yep, sword key is what we need. Oh, shoot, there is an item we got to go back here and grab. But we'll use the lockpick to unlock that door. Okay, yep. Yeah. The, the zombie, there's... There's a zombie downstairs. He's actually probably climbing up the stairs. Yep, there, there he is. Zombies um, have this weird mechanic that if you if they're on the stairs and they try to grab you, um, they actually don't grab you. They just puke. It's weird. They, I don't know if it's like acid or what they like. They quote unquote puke. I mean, I'm assuming it's like stomach acid, but you know. I don't know if, if the 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 reason why they're zombies, I don't know if that turns it into a different type of acid or what's going on there, but we actually do. How do I want to do this? Do I want to head let's actually head down this way if we can. I'm not sure. We might have we might need the sword key for it. We might have needed the sword key. Oh no, we could have went in here anyways. I am by no means optimal at this game, so I know there's probably some dudes who watch carcinogen, carcinogen speedruns. It's like, what the hell are you doing? Please forgive me because I am. I know uh, know how to play the game. I'm not very good at like inventory management and stuff like that. Here. There's a map 
map of the mansion first floor. Will you tuck it? We'll go ahead and hit yes there. And we got the map of the first floor. As you can see, there is a lot going on on this map in the first floor. Um, blue doors mean that they're accessible. Red doors mean they're locked. Orange, uh, gray doors means we have not encountered, um, or have not been there to try the door. So we're going to come through that door. We had that sore keyed anyway, so. We're going to head this way. That got me. That got me. Okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot that. I was just... Ex I wasn't expecting that, but that's fine. Um, in the first Resident Evil, when you come through this hallway, dogs break through the windows. And I was expecting a dog or something of that nature. Nope. You get that subtle crack in the glass. I, I'm assuming that's where like the dogs are trying to break in. Because you can't see what hit the window. It just cracks and breaks. I'm going to come in here, get a weird look. I'm going to actually use the lockpick. Actually, yes, I do want to come out here, but we got to be quick. Uh, I'm going to come out here and grab what we need, run back inside as fast as we can, because if you listen... Doggos. And if you're out here too long or come back out here... They jump over the fence. So get in, get, go out there, grab what you grab that bag all around the corner of the building there, and get out of there. So we're gonna look at this bag real quick. Chemical used on plants is an agent to destroy plant growth. Herbicide. So we're gonna use that. We're actually gonna come in here. And as you can see, it's just the bathroom with some dirty water in it. We're going to remove the plug here. Stop. So yeah, she actually gets sick from that. She curb stomps the zombie. She gets sick, pukes her guts up, and then that's it. That's all there's to it. That's all you need. You get a free kill, free zombie kill, free dagger from that. So doesn't hurt to go in there and grab that, right? Now we're going to come through here. I advise not coming through this hallway is as, as, as a lot um, because there is an event that takes place and when that event takes place, you it's just a bad time for everybody. Um, I'm not going to spoil it because, yeah. We're going to come through here. And depending on how this looks... Oh, I know what I'm... Yep, there's a zombie right there. Probably a zombie. Yep, right there. We might have to knock him down. Come on. Screw up, man. Got it. Go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah, all you have to do is juke him. Go ahead and unlock that door. That's all I wanted to do was juke him. And then we're going to run back this way. I want to break his ankles like, you know, James Harden did... Wesley Johnson that the other night. Oh my god. That was just murder. More that was more savage than I don't know. Man, that was pretty it was pretty savage for those who haven't watched it. Alright, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me slow down here. So, 
essentially we got a dog whistle and something has something we need so that being said we gotta figure out what that is fair enough right there's mr. zombie we're just gonna run back down the stairs here mr. zombie here as well Juke. we're gonna come in here and a wild man man appears all right much like Resident Evil 4, this music means you are safe. Well, Resident Evil 4 had a different tune to it. But, as you can see, there's a first aid spray. We're actually going to get rid of the lighter. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of the knife, because we do not need the knife. Um, I'm gonna, we don't need the handgun ammo, because I don't plan on killing anything. What is this? Canteen. Scratch that. Do we have... Oh, that we do. Okay. Scratch that. We are going to kill something really quick. Special instructions for disposing of dead bodies. Yep. We're going to read this one out loud. We, we have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they're able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. That be, That's right. So, once when you kill a zombie, it has a chance of coming back. If you do not do something about that, obviously. There are two known current methods to cease the resurrection. Number one, incineration. Burning them to nothingness. Or cremating them, essentially. I guess you could say cremating them. Uh, destruction of the head. So, blowing their brains out. Fair enough. Its further methods are yet to be discovered. I will notify you immediately. Meanwhile, for those who, you, who still have the will to live, oil has been placed in the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you will need to find by yourself. Fair enough. So, I'm going to actually... Ooh, another, another hang in that magazine. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to take that with me. I'm going to keep the sword key, keep the lighter. I'm going to make a couple of areas safe. So this is where we're going to make some zombies die. I'm going to refill the canteen with kerosene. As soon as we open this door, I'm, I'm mashing the inventory button. He's not dead. Not dead. He didn't gasp prayer. Get up. Get up. dead now and as you can see the signature resident evil i'm dead zombie kind of deal is the blood pouring out of them now we are going to burn his body actually i'm going to show you all right so technically in the old resident evil he is dead like dead dead in the original resident evil you leave the room and come back his body would disappear watch this we're in the safe zone His body's still there. In order, to in order to resolve this, we go to the kerosene thing and use it. Alright, he is now on fire. And burnt to a crisp. So we're going to leave again. I'm going to refill the canteen this time. About half of the kerosene left. Really? That's weird. All right, so now we're going to come back through here. I'm just kind of showing you guys this. And the body's gone. So that means that zombie is dead, 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 and more dead. Like the deadest zombie. And there's another zombie, so we're going to do this number. Oh, I thought he dropped. Dude! How much ammo do I got in this gun now? I'm out. Okay. I thought I counted 15. I'm lucky I... He didn't drop. We're going to come up behind him go... Bah! That's right. Grunt. Now he's dead. 
We're gonna go up and do the same thing to his body. Use kerosene. And he is dead and gone. He's locked with the shape of an armor. And, oh, yeah. If you walk over while he's on fire, you will burn. Usually that. In, used, in harder difficulties, in hard mode, I think there's a zombie that's always around that corner, or at least in that hallway. This is locked with a helmet. Un unlit fireplace. Can we light it? Lines are carved into the relief glow. Into the relief glow red with intense heat. And if you look closely, it looks kind of like the second floor. So, in order to get the second floor map, uh, this is what you have to do. There is an item in one of the hallways that require you... I'm actually going to unequip my handgun here. We got three self-defense items, so we can technically be okay with that. I'm going to stair skate. Bring my stuff back down here. Um, there is a block, uh, a, a slab of wood in one of the hallways you can grab. And you set it up there and it burns into the wood. We don't need that for a little while. There's only a couple areas I want to do this in. Mainly areas that have safe, area, safe zones out of them. Around them. Um, like this one right here was a prime example, this entire room. You don't want to fight, you know, resurrected zombies in this area. It's just a rough time. So, yeah. And actually, right there's that plaque of wood. We take the wooden mount. And we're going to run back and do that real quick because I am, like I said, I am horrible with inventory. But. I honestly don't care. That fireplace is already lit, so we ain't got to worry about that. Uh, relighting it. So we're just going to come back this way and do our thing. And there's some health items if you need it. We're going to come up here and use that. Just like that. There's a map of the second floor. Take it. And there we go. Now we have the first and second floor of the mansion. There's a basement floor, but we are not able to go in there just yet. Um, as you can see, there's a couple areas we haven't visited. Mostly because we need the armor key for that. Um, and we're in the we're getting ready to get that actually here in just a second. But I want to go around and make sure... Uh, what the... Oh, yeah, that's right. I just want to make sure that we have uh, taken care of everything we need before we progress. Alright, let's go this way. Now we should have three slots. Yes, we do. This will take us back. Uh, this will take us in that main hallway. I'll go through and try to start unlocking some rooms as we go. Locked, shaped of an armor key. Okay, so that will need it. an armor key. It's locked. Armor key. Okay. We'll unlock it on this side. Oh, we already unlocked this. Okay. Alright. We're actually going to head back this way. mindful of zombie. I don't know where he is. He's on the other side. But we're good. How much ammo do I got? I hope that's enough. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come in here. This puts us out on our balcony. I think. Yes, it does. We're going to stand in the corner. Put a gun, blow the dog whistle. Oh, are you kidding me? Self defense item, we're probably gonna. Oh, there's another dog. Oh, God. Do 
we just headshot that dog? We did. It's dead. Alright, that dog's dead as well. We just headshotted that dog. Oh my god. There's green herbs, but there's only enough for a few uses. Take them? Yes. You created your wounds. So, that was a free heal, essentially. And we got the dog collar. We're going to examine that. Got to look at it. Looks like an ordinary dog collar. There's a switch. Will you press it? Yes. Okay. Looks like a coin. We're also going to examine the coin. Press the button. Nothing usual here. Changed into the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. All right. That will come in handy. You probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Discard it. Yeah. So that freed up another slot. And what we got there was an imitation of the armor key. Oh, shut up, Mr. Zombie. What are we doing on time? Okay, we got plenty of time. So, two things here. Uh, we can go down the stairs and get a couple extra items. Or we can uh, essentially continue on and we would go up to the third floor. Um, and that put us back in that hallway where there's that weird noise. Um, I'll show you guys here in just a second. But I actually do want to head down the stairs. Because there's a couple items we need to grab. Looking at this this area. There's a couple items we do need to grab. Um, just kind of make sure I, I got my bearings. Know where I'm at. Okay, yeah. We need to go get some more handgun ammo. We only got five rounds. And zombie man can't grab us, but he can try to puke. And he got us with puke. Try to puke again. Are you kidding me? Alright. How bad that hurts. Uh, we're... We're not okay. There's a zombie on the ground. He needs to be burnt because he is technically, quote-unquote, already dead. No pun intended. Um, I'm going to grab the handgun ammo and the fuel canteen real quick and the lighter. Because there's a couple of zombies in this area we... I, I personally don't mind. I personally am comfortable with taking out. But first, we're going to You're not dead. the lockpick. Alright. Now we can go in here. Just some old furniture. There is a battery pack. And that right there is a broken shotgun. We can grab that if we wanted to. But I'm going to not because we don't need it. There's plenty of kerosene left. Refuel it. Yes. Oh, we need to go back in there and grab the thing as well. Yep, yeah, the thing. I'm not going to say exactly what until we get there, but we need to go back this way. We refilled the canteen with kerosene, so we're going to use it. Burn him. One more zombie I got to worry about. We're right here. Scratch pet on Min Min while the game loads. All right. Oh, he's so mad at me now. He's like, why'd you stop? Uh, we're gonna grab that herbicide. My buddy in Steam just messaged me, so I do apologize if you got heard that. We're gonna go, it's locked, shape of an arm. We can't go that way! Oh my word. Okay, I guess we're not going to do that.
And what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna deposit handgun magazine. We're gonna deposit that guy. We're going to deposit that guy. I wanna keep the sword key. Never know when we're gonna need it. And we're gonna head back out. I forgot to top up on ammo, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Not a deal breaker. There's a zombie there. Are you kidding me? Yep, here he comes. Yep, there he is. Maybe I can juke him. Try to juke him. Juked! Get juked! Oh, get wrecked! We crossed him up, man, man. Nasty. Alright, here we go. This is the scary part. Right there, as you can see, right there, the rot zombie reset, and I didn't kill him. Now, we gotta run by this dead guy. I'm gonna grab this item real quick before we do and use it. Does he know we're here? He does know we're here. What the hell? Whatever, we're gonna make a run toy. Three, two, one, go! Yep. Yep, that's what happens. I'm gonna run in here. And as you can see, there is a interesting looking key. Will you take the mansion key? Yes. As you can see, when you pick up the key, it lays a booby trap. Here, and we're going to examine that key real quick. It's identical to the imitation key, which is the... This key is the armor key. Obviously, this is the uh, imitation key. We're going to use hit. As you can see, the fake key stops or disarms the trap, and we're allowed to actually run back safely. Now the hard part begins. We gotta get past a zombie and a crimson head, which is, spoiler alert, that's what they're called, crimson heads. I call them pissed off zombies most of the time. We gotta get past a zombie and one of those dudes. He's right there. Oh no. Oh no. Elbow him off on that one. Somehow a zombie got on the balcony. Not a big deal. He'll reset down here somewhere. We can just kill him then. Um, but now that we have the armor key, we can go back and do some other tricks. I forgot we juked that zombie. Now if they grab you from behind, you just gotta shake the analog stick as fast as you can in order to elbow him off of you. Um, I'm going to grab handgun magazines just in case. In case we have to engage one. Looks like we don't have to. Good. Grab that battery pack. That's actually for a taser. I think there's a zombie right here somewhere. No, there's not a zombie right there. Okay. But, if you walk, look at that window. Or that shadow. See it moving there on the right side of the wall? There is zombies on the wind outside on these windows. They don't go, they don't bust through yet. 
This is it's one of those hallways that you better not go through there often. Um or you will get your life wrecked really hard. So what we did there was we dropped this herbicide into this water looking pump here. And now this is where it's another puzzle. I wanna try to angle this where you can see. It. As you can see, there's a live um thing, live plant looking thing there in the water. Or there and see if you get close to it, it comes alive like hardcore. Um the herbicide is to kill that plant, but if you're not paying attention, you can kill those green herbs on the left, on the right hand side of the screen. You can kind of see it, there's kind of like a few pots there. Those are green herbs you can come back and heal your character with, which I actually need to do. So, in order to fix that, just kind of look at the floor where I'm standing, you'll see a green line. Walk back over here and you'll see a green and red option. Which way do you will you turn it? Make sure you hit red. Red triggers it into the fountain. The fountain it skews the herbicide into the fountain, and it dead. Now we can walk over here and grab these as much as we want. Oh, look at all this weed. And grows in the wild and wild in this region. Wild weed? I wonder if that's. I, I'm not a weed person, but I wonder if that's any good. And we got a death mask. We're going to examine it with no eyes. Mask without eyes. So that if you noticed, if you remember, remember our thing we got, that mask with no eyes was one of the things. The E who see no, he sees no evil. So now, here we go. I'm going to unequip and run. Run, 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 run. We're actually going to run this way. You can go in there if you want to on the right door. I don't recommend it. We're going to go left. And that puts us out right here at the dining room. Right there was a... Actually, we can go do that real quick. I'm... Yeah, we can do that real quick. Let's do it. Go over here and grab this blue jewel that we pushed off from the roof. Or from the second floor. You know, I'm surprised you didn't hear the zombie from the second floor. That zombie's still up there. We're going to make our run back up here. This is where those zombies broke in through the windows. I don't know where they spawn, actually. It's kind of worries me. Right there. Oh, get rocked. There's another one. We're going to come this way. He'll obviously reset, luckily. So There is an inscription here. Tiger glowing blue and yellow light. We're going to use the blue gem. And as you can see, we get another, we get this crate. Shotgun shells. I like. I like me some shotgun shells. Come over here. There's a dagger here on the table. We're going to juke him real quick. And we're actually done with that corner of the house. 100% done. There's nothing else in that, in that corner of the house that is valuable to us. So those two zombies can do whatever the heck they want. How are we doing on time? We got plenty of time. Now we're gonna head to the right side of the mansion, and I'm just kind of gonna I'm just gonna unlock some doors as I go. Um, nothing too crazy. We're just gonna unlock doors as we go. 
because I, I want to just make sure for the next part, kind of future planning here, the next part will be uh, doing a lot of the quests. Alright, we're going to unlock that door. We're going to unlock that door. These two doors are already unlocked. I think... Did we kill... Yeah, we killed that zombie. The zombie's dead. Yeah. So this is another safe zone. And over here and unlock this door. Actually, I'm going to go in here. I, for, I think... If I remember correctly, I know what's in here. If I have the inventory. No, I don't have the inventory. Can't do it just yet. We'll have to do it next part. You got a sign here. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Barry. How nice of him, right? Barry, you MVP. Oh man, we got a lot of stuff. So we got... Let's go ahead and pick up all of our goodies. We got handgun magazine. 15 round magazines. That puts us at what, 90? 90 rounds? First aid spray. How are we doing on health? Doing fine, okay. I'm going to go ahead and deposit some of this stuff real quick. So I'm going to deposit first aid spray. Shotgun shells, we don't need them. That death mask, we don't need. I'm going to keep the sword key and the shield key. Another first aid spray. And we got this weird looking container, which contains incendiary shells. Now these are for a weapon we have not grabbed yet. Which we will be grabbing in the next part. So... Uh, that being said, I'm going to end it here if I have any grip. If not, we're going to keep going. Ah, uh, we do. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Alright, guys. I am going to end it here. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you want to see more Resident Evil content. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm just going to save my first one here. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.